Well, and then the sixth and final question uh, that they're going to look at is how is our knowledge of Christian truth related to our experience? All human beings possess new information and ideas by relating them in some fashion to their own experience in life. Uh, when we read a book, again, uh, if, if, uh, if, if we have this uh, grandiose uh, as, as science fiction epic tale, uh, if, if the author is going to use words and phrases and concepts that you have no clue about, well, that, that book is useless to you. And so uh, there has to be some way that we um, take in new information ideas and then we relate them to kind of what we already know or what we experience. And so um, we come into conflict with our own thinking or we come into conflict with how to properly uh, view these new concepts or new ideas um, or uh, th there are new ways to approach uh, what's presented to you as new ideas and new information. The fact necessitates uh, giving some consideration to how apologists should relate to experience. And some apologists seeks to analyze human experience in terms of universal truths in which the Christian message can be grounded. And others askew argumentation about experience and instead call on non-Christians to experience God's love in Christ. So again, running the gamut of, of these, of, uh, uh, of human experience and, and how it relates to truth and knowledge and uh, experience, uh, uh, it could be just psychological or it could be foundational depending on um, kind of what avenue of the four that uh, you would take or that someone takes. Right. Good. Yeah. And so they tell us that each of the four apologetic approaches answers these six uh, meta apologetic questions and how these answers may be the, uh, integrated will be considered in the second chapter of each of the remaining parts of this book. So notice what they're doing here in this introduction, chapter three is telling us how they're laying out the book. So for each of the four methods, the first portion will be a historical look at the particular method. And then they will look at how that particular method answers these six uh, meta apologetic questions, right? So that's the, the second thing that, uh, that they'll do in, in, uh, in each of the sections of this particular book.